Trying to get back in the swing of things. Life has just been so crazy for me. Y'all see that right there? Y'all see that right there? Hey y'all, so welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. Hey y'all, so welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Alexis. Today will be a vlog. Well, I'll start a vlog. Let's see if I can continue it because I've been terrible with vlogging for a while now, but I'm about to get better. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. Life has just been so crazy for me. You know, can't let it hold you back. Can't let it hold you back. Can't let it hold you back, right? Today, I'm about to get ready and leave the house. This morning, I've been like cleaning, doing TikToks, doing like other videos. So like I've been very productive today, which is something that I've been just trying to do. I took the complete weekend off and just rested. And so today I'm just full of energy and I am just go, 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 go. Still have so much more to do, but I want to get out the house real quick and go make some returns because I have a ton of stuff that I need to return just from like over the past few weeks that I've been collecting. This is the perfect day to do it because I'm off today. It's MLK day. Happy MLK day. I just want to get this done so that during the rest of the week, I can just focus on studying and like, producing content which is and going to work which is a lot <laughs> yeah let me throw some shoes on so we can get out of here and get out in these streets and get back because it looks like it's about to rain and i'm not trying to be caught up in that especially with my hair did okay mm -hmm. y'all just have like one puffy side of y'all hair like this side is not my good side it's not my good side every time like i flat iron this side like this side will just be great and this side will just like get puffy for like no apparent reason it's all have been well i guess if while we're in the car we can talk about i don't know what's new um i feel like what has everybody in a chokehold right now is the real housewives right because they're finishing they're getting close to finishing up their season it's almost like you you don't want it to end but like you know it's probably coming to an end really soon and you just really hate it because that's really Potomac has really stole the game I mean, like I don't even watch Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore I just watch Potomac because it's so freaking good like I don't even know why I don't know why I love them more now than I love Atlanta the episode I watched today which was the episode that came out yesterday was really good because um they kind of did the continuance of like the Karen and Sharice fight which I completely get what everybody's saying they're like what are they arguing over you know like what are they arguing over I feel like Karen is just talking as much as I love her Karen is just talking but she's not listening and she really don't care she just don't want to be friends with her she don't want to be friends with her because maybe she feel like I don't know I don't know like I, I'm really trying to figure out the core and like the reasoning to their beef but it seemed like really seemed like Karen got beef with herself so one thing I am happy about is that Ashley Candace really hit the head of why they are why they've had beef and really it is because they played tip for tat so long that no one's really let go of the beef and that's why it's continued this long um but they hit the nail on the head today well in the episode i watched um of why that's ha why that's happened for so long and i really do hope they can like squash their beef because i really don't like ashley's such i mean Ashley's such a pretty girl but like the messiness that she be bringing into the group it just just be unnecessary you know how like it just be like girl come on now you didn't have to do that and so i feel like that's what Ashley be doing and I just don't want her to be that girl, you know, because I feel like if I can't trust you on this show I can't trust you nowhere. So I finally made it to Target and just found these cute little baskets in the little dollar mark place awesome. I found these little baskets And I was thinking I can get them to put sanitary napkins in like pads and stuff in um at home because they the ones i have now like what i have now is just in a bag and it looks so ugly so i was like i'll get this and then it can look cute in the cabinet hey y'all so i just got home from the groceries well running errands and stuff i want to show y'all what i picked up because i used this in my um smoothies this morning so i didn't 
I know I showed y'all, but I pretty much get these juices from Walmart. This time I'm trying one different. That's why I'm going to tell you about it. But it's the beet, organic beet orange and carrot juice. This is what I, I mixed the beet one, just the beet one in my smoothie this morning. But I'm going to try this one because they didn't have just beets. So whatever. But I also bought some more pomegranate juice to put inside of my smoothie in the morning if i don't have a smoothie i can drink these regular just um and i just take them with my vitamins i just try to make sure that i have something to take down my vitamins with in the morning because you know you want to make sure you're taking your vitamins i also bought these little things and i was telling y'all about them while i was in the store but they're pretty much these little baskets to put napkins, I mean, to put like pads in, candy liners in and stuff. Right now, they're just in the boxes of the bags that they came in. And I just feel like, ew, like why can't we have like something that's better? Um, that way, we're just not harvesting around a bunch of plastic. So I got these and then I'm just going to put the napkins in there a little bit later. But first, I need to eat something because I'm starving. Hey y'all, so today is Tuesday and I am about to head out and I'm just, I just finished getting ready for work and also like I just finished getting out of one of my classes. I didn't know, I forgot I signed up for a 7 a.m. class this semester so, Lord, it's gonna be a semester. Um, but yeah, so I just finished that and I got I got up early to get dressed because I thought we were going to be in class like the full hour and 15 minutes, but we were only in class 20 minutes today because it was like intro. So happy for that because I got a chance to like get some stuff done this morning that I need to get done, which is great because now when I come home, I have less things to do, uh, which is a long list of things. So let's just point that out. You know how like you just trying to get your hair to do what you needed to do? I don't know. I think after this wash, I'm going to go to back to like side part. I feel like it just works better for me. So let me show you what I am wearing today. Super professional outfit. So I have on these pants from Shein, these boots from DSW, and then this jacket from Zara that I picked up, I believe at one of their sales before. And then under it, I have this little Skims bodysuit. I love these for work and I actually need to get some more because they're just perfect. They're stretchy. And then when you put like, you don't have to, when you put a blazer on top of it, it just looks so good. So yeah, this is what I'm rocking today um, for today's work outfit. I give up on my hair. It's just not, Every time I put product on it, it's like product says, forget you, I'm not staying. Good morning. Today is Monday, January 23rd. And I am up and at them this morning, currently headed to take my little baby back there. You'll see her in a bit, uh, Nyla, to the vet. She has to get a surgery today to get a, a little small little surgery today. So I'm taking her in and then I'm going to pick her up this afternoon. I've been having, you know, like I have that like mother's intuition. Like I just, anytime my children have to go to the vet, I feel like a little bit of anxiety. I don't know why. Um, maybe more so because of the anesthesia part she has to get put down because one of the things she's she has is like skin tag boxers get them a lot but uh they they like they're really ugly um on the body and she's just such a beautiful girl i want her body to look clean so we're gonna have the vet like kind of burn them off um and she has like three and one of them is kind of big and which is why we're actually paying to get it removed um so that's where we're headed to go do uh, if they were still like super small if the, one, if the biggest one was like still kind of like a small where you could barely see it i wouldn't worry about it right now but this it's about that big and so i don't want you know her to be walking around with something you know like that on her and the crazy thing about it is it's on her butt so it just makes it look like she got a little turd on her butt which is not pretty at all so that being said i am in in like the traffic right now is just unheard of and then i have this old tight belt on that i just can't wear <laughs> this belt is not for me okay i'm gonna have to lose a, a few more pounds 
to be able to be comfortable in this belt. So as I'm driving, I'm going to have to remove it. Oh, Lord. I feel so much better. <laughs> so much better. You know when something is just pressing on your stomach? Like, no, 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 ma'am. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey, y'all. So it's some time later. And um, I just got off work not too long ago. I went to go get my hair cut um, at this place called Cost Cutters. It's like a place where you can just walk into and get a haircut. I wanted some layers in my hair. And she did her thing. Like, you can see this. Like, you can't really see it on this side right now. Um, cause like most of the hair is on this side, but like if I split it, you can see like the layers that she's added and it's just brought my hair like to life and I'm loving it. She did a really good job, which is like a lady in name, lady in there named Emily. She did a really good job of like doing the layers that I wanted. I wanted more of like, I wanted, um, like the curtain bang juicy also wanted like just it to be like layered up because i feel like that's what gives your hair life so i asked her to do all of that and she did a really good job i can't i really couldn't tell because i didn't get it curled or anything like that i just wanted it cut so once i curl it tomorrow or like put my little flexi rods in there i'll definitely be able to see like how it's shaping up and how the layers came out but you can just tell right here that it looked really good like so now we are headed to pick up my little baby she they said she is ready to be picked up and i'm so happy that i'm able to pick her up today one because even though i, I don't like her spending the night anywhere that's like the main reason why but i just this place is kind of far and with traffic it just takes me so long to get here so I'm just happy they said that I can come pick her up. And then it's funny because they said I could come pick her up earlier than I even thought I would be able to. So awesome. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's, Mama has a class tonight. I have a class at 7 p.m. tonight. It's a finance class that I am not looking forward to. I mean, not. <laughs> but I have to attend it at 7, which means I needed to be back. And I feel like, you know, just 30 minutes really plays a, a big role. Uh, hey y'all oh it's a little dark okay so it's a couple days later and i'm currently trying on an outfit right now darken up because i have a dinner to go to on saturday and i just can't and so i'm just trying to make sure i have what i need now before i'm like rushing to find something to wear on saturday and yeah no we're not trying to do that so i couldn't find the pants that i wanted, wanted to wear but these are like my backups and we're just gonna have to go with them because i don't know what happened to the pants that i originally wanted to wear with this so yeah let me show you what I'm right now i have this satin blouse that i got from nasty gal this is a really good blouse like the quality of this is kind of almost like i spent hundreds of dollars on this blouse on this kind of sh jacket i guess it's a top i don't know what it is but it's like, it ties right here, which is so cute, and I love it. And then I have these black leather pants on. Originally, I had some leggings that I bought with this, that I actually bought to wear with this top, and I wore it. But I don't know what I did with the leggings. I don't know if I returned the leggings, because it's been almost two years since I wore this top. So, I just don't know what I did with it. Anyway, so I'm wearing these black pants which are like my go-to's because leather is always in but here's my dilemma I don't know what shoes to wear with this okay so here's the thing let me scoot up and sit down <laughs> Ooh, so these are the on the left these sorry my feet are ashy but on the left we have the Tom Ford's which are almost like always my go-to's man I'm ashy these are always like my go-to's when it comes to like going out and stuff. I mean, that's the only time I wear them. Let's be real. And then I have these booties here by Mason Marigella. And they're like the funky shoe that comes with like the horseshoe foot. And I mean the horseshoe toes, which is, I just feel like that's what makes these shoes unique. And it was definitely worth the buy when I saw them. Anyway, so these shoes are just so comfortable. And I'm really thinking about wearing them because I don't know. I just feel like... Because it's kind of still winter time, I can still kind of pull it off with wearing these shoes. And I really don't ever get to wear them because they're, I think of them, I know I've seen people wear them in the summertime, but I just don't wear leather boots in the summertime. But 
I just feel like when am I gonna trust to wear them? And I love the tones, right? So we have the tan, we have the black, and we have like the green. So I think I'm gonna wear this shoe. And then, you know, these shoes I wear the hell out of, so I'll get another chance to wear them. But yeah, I think we're gonna go with these for Saturday. Cause I just love them and they're comfortable. Like look at that heel, the perfect heel. All right, tonight we are having Miss Stroni soup, a veggie version of it. Um, I'll leave the recipe down below because this is actually really, really good. And it's super easy to make. It's just a lot of vegetables. And then we have these like little, they're not ravioli things, but I forgot what they're called. But these little noodle things in here to make it more filling. And I just really can't wait to eat this. It's I've tasted a little bit and I'm so impressed. Um, but yeah, here we go. This is hey y'all, good morning. So today's Friday and... Um, I just got finished getting ready for work and I'm about to head out and actually go to work. Um, I just wanted to check in with you all because I haven't checked in with y'all in days. But, you know, that's my fault. But today we kind of have like a full day. Well, this weekend, at least today and tomorrow, we have like a full day. So it's stuff to actually vlog. And so <laughs> I'm going to be vlogging. <laughs> anyway, I want to show you all what I'm wearing today before we head out because, you know, the outfit matters. So here we go. Today we have on this Shein top that actually came with a set, but I am just wearing the top today and not the pants and then I have on the Zara jeans that I just recently bought and Calvin Klein boots so yeah this is my OOT day it's like you know Friday casual you know but it's also like still really really cute which is why I love it hey y'all so I have gotten off work and I'm just about to run into Whole Foods right now to pick up some things I needed to I need to get like I need to get like three things from here so we're just gonna run in and get them so I know I said I had to get like three things, but I saw these cinnamon rolls and these cookies and I'm gonna have to grab them both because they are so good. Hey y'all, so did that really quickly. Got those things from Whole Foods. I'm now headed to, I'm now headed to Sam's Boat to meet my sister. We're gonna have lunch today. We're gonna get some crawfish. Yes, it is crawfish season, honey. <laughs> y'all, I've been watching Married to Medicine, so when I talk like that, just know it's coming from Married to Medicine. Just know I'm talking like them on Married to Medicine. <laughs> headed to go meet her. Ooh, so let me focus on the road because I'm driving this rental car and it is so big. It's almost, Michael calls it a Hummer and I could not help it. All right, y'all, so we have made it to Sam's boat and we got our crawfish here finally. Allison, say hello. She already started eating. She's not even waiting, okay? And we're about to dig in and eat some good food. I'm so excited. Hey, y'all, so I just got home from running errands. Ugh, finally, <laughs> I have been, feel like I've been all around the world, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing real quick, cause I got some things in the mail while I was gone. And then I also picked up some mail that I had to go to FedEx and pick up because first things first, let's see what this Amazon package um, has in it. So I ordered these bracelet clips because I just ordered a new bracelet. And you know how like, it's always sometimes hard for you to put the bracelet on yourself. Well, this is supposed to help assist you with like putting the bracelet on. They give you two, can you see it? It's like a little clamp. So you clamp this onto the bracelet, to one end, and then you're supposed to be able to hook with the other end, so. That's one of the things I got. We have a Lululemon package. <laughs> of course, Lululemon is always coming through this store. But um, I finally, finally, and I'm gonna say this, invested in a Lululemon Define jacket. I literally had a gift card and um, I had a little bit of money left on there, so I just paired that with my own money and was able to buy this little $100 jacket. This is how it looks. I don't know if it's like the exposure's too, can you see? Hold on, let me turn this light off behind it. So here is the jacket. It's um, the Define jacket in the style, in the color white opal. I was trying to figure out what color I wanted to get first just because a lot of times I either wear black or a lot of neutrals. So this color was like a good in between. I felt like you can barely see it. I don't know what's wrong with the camera. It's okay, so yeah, this is the jacket. It's a very detailed in the back. Um, it's a super cute jacket. I Ooh, baby, it like definitely sucks you in because I don't have a shirt up under this, but look how, look how it like, whoop, the body. Yeah, it's a really good jacket. So this is how it looks in the front. Hmm. And then this is how it looks in the back. 
really good athleisure or athletic jacket that you can wear, um, you know, when you work out or like when you're just out and about, like mm, the material is super soft and I love it. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. Next, we have another Amazon package. This one, I ordered this uh, heat protecting spray. So, I was watching this TikTok, and if I could find it, I'll, I'll kind of put it somewhere on the screen because it, it was crazy because you, you think because you see heat protecting that is automatically going to work, but don't be fooled. Them heat protectants will catch your hair on fire if, you know, it ever came down to it. So, pretty much the video... If it's here, you can see it was just showing like heat protectants that really heat protect your hair versus heat protectants that just say heat protectant and literally does nothing for your hair. Do nothing for your hair. So this was one, the Mazzani Heat Screen Heat Protectant Spray was one of the heat protectants that actually protected, like didn't catch on fire on the cotton swab. So I ordered it because girl, I'm always having to touch up my hair it helps shield against heat damage up to 450 degrees and it gives like a little light shine as well all right so next i started buying myself birthday gifts and so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all some of them um because a lot of this stuff i had to go ahead and buy because it it was already out of stock and then when i saw it come in stock i'm like i'm not gonna play these games we keep having to go back and see if something is in stock or not so i'm gonna just buy it now and you know happy early birthday to me my birthday's in march march 3rd so i just went ahead and bought it like i'm a grown woman it's okay i don't have to have things on my birthday i can have them before and it still be a birthday present for me anyway so i finally purchased me some of the veja sneakers oh can you see them you can't even see them focus okay there we go so the veja sneakers i see a lot of people wear these and i've been intrigued to try them but i had to find some that were my style so i finally found some that were my style Come in many different shades and colors the thing is is that i knew i already had some golden gooses that were like of a brown tone so i didn't want to get that again so i got this like neutral color which is like a grayish tone color that i think that'll go great with it so, yeah, um, I hear a lot of good things about these shoes, just like Golden Goose. It's just another tennis shoe that you can wear. Super cute shoes. So, let me show y'all how they look on. Like I said, they come in many different colors and styles, but I felt like this was the cutest one and that fit my style well. So, I got these. But these are actually not as expensive as Golden Gooses. That's why another reason why I'm like, oh, I might get another pair of these because... These were like $175 versus Golden Gooses are like $500, but they're pretty comfortable. In Zara, let me show y'all what I found. I ended up buying, because I didn't buy everything that I had showed y'all. So I ended up buying this dress, which I thought it was so cute. With that dress, I bought these shoes, because I was like, ooh, if I put that dress on and put these shoes on, it's really gonna make it pop. I didn't wanna do neutral like I always do. I was like, yeah, these boots are perfect, and I have these, and like, a brown tone a neutral brown tone they're so comfortable you can walk in them like all night like they're such a good shoe i want this shoe in every single color that's how great these boots are here are the shoes they are so cute on like i said lexi like i said they are super comfortable on but look how cute they are look how like they make the leg and the foot look so small and they're just super cute let's open the last package So I've already started to open it because it's a big one. I love how they like really take the time. Let me scoot y'all back. Y'all see that right there? Y'all see that right there? Y'all see that right there? My 30th birthday is coming up and I was like, girl, what is the one thing that you have been wanting that's been on your wish list that you, why am I bending? That you have just been like obsessed over. And it was this. All of this madness, you have the box the golden box <laughs> all right so let me show y'all what we working with here so i'm gonna go ahead and open it i think i can't breathe right now like this bracelet <laughs> she is beautiful look at this look at this bad boy look at her this is the black onyx uh bracelet and when i say look at the detail look at the look at the clamp like it's not like your regular like clamp to clamp your bracelet together. Like this is absolutely freaking beautiful. Freaking beautiful. It's oh, so beautiful. Okay, bye y'all.